Is this working? Okay. Hola gente, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bresni, the Limer on Instagram, and today I'm going to be trying another wig. So if you're interested in knowing which wig I'm going to try on, but I'm pretty sure you already know from the thumbnail and the title of this video. Anyways, just stay tuned and keep watching. I mean, it's free. It's free content. I, I consider myself funny, you know? <laughs> Alright, so the wig that we're trying on today is the Sade wig by Outre Perfect Hairline. I had tried on two other ones um, prior to this one and I fell in love with like the wig cap construction and like the wig. So I decided to pick another one up, a straight one in like um, a dark brown hair color. They didn't have a number four which is the closest one to my hair color so I went with a number two again. This is a fully hand tied 13 by 6 lace frontal no plucking required it has soft swiss lace and it has baby hairs it has an adjustable um wide elastic band as the other one and it's heat styling friendly it's supposedly 32 inches long and it's it looks beautiful so we're gonna go ahead and try it on and see how it goes <laughs> I'm not gonna um, glue this one down to my head. We're just gonna put it on out of the box. I'm gonna cut the lace and just plop it on like that. Um, just because I did my hair. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm gonna pull this out of the package, and of course, this can withstand heat up to 400 degrees, but that's never recommended. So straight out of the box, this is what it looks like. It has the wig card with all the other colors that it comes in um, and like the instructions for the carrier of the way and how to put it on. It also comes in a DR Ash Blonde. Oh, that would have been nice. A DR um, 4 Tiramisu. I might get the Ash Blonde. I might, I'm gonna buy the Ash Blonde if I can find it, that is. A uh, DR Marble Gray, a DR FF Golden Amber, and a DR FF Red Velvet. So let's try this on. Anyway, so it has the nets. We're going to save that. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to throw the box away. But if you have room for the box, remember to always keep the box. All right. So out of the box, we have the Swiss lace here. These are the baby hairs. They're super long, which I am not a fan of. Um, here is the elastic band. It has the clips on the side and one on the back as long as the adjustable ties. And then it has extra lace back here just in case if you want to pull it up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on a wig cap and I'm going to throw this on and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have our wig cap on. I'm just trying to protect my handle underneath. <laughs> And I'm going to plop this on and then I'm going to just try it on to see if it fits. And then I'm going to go back and cut the lace and pop it on my head again. <laughs> these baby hairs. Let's talk about these baby hairs though. I'm not going to put on the clips because oh my god. Okay, so the texture of this hair so far feels very good. Not a fan of the baby hairs. The dark spot here is my wig cap. Um, grab a comb and comb it through. Feels very nice. No tangling so far. Let's part it down the center. I would probably put some um, mousse to flatten it and do like my little flattening trick. I'm gonna cut off this lace. It's a little dark for me, but I can put on my powder. Oh, here we have some tangling towards the end. But overall, the density is pretty good. It's not too dense. It's like a natural density, which I like, and the hair texture is pretty good as well. It's like mimics my hair texture really well, which I have a very similar hair texture to like African American. Um, being an Afro Latina, but these baby hairs, though, I 
let's cut the lace and I'll be back okay so I threw this back on my head cut the lace um, I did get some tangling but that's expected with a long unit like this at least I'm gonna go ahead and try to part this and try to part this down the middle as best as I can I'm gonna put some powder down the center put some mousse and then powder down the center I lost some baby hairs along the way when I was cutting this unit because and it's fine for me at least because I don't care for them like I mentioned kind of flattened it no I think so I'll flatten it a little bit the baby hairs are still kind of kind of wild kind of wild so I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder I'm gonna use my fit me 222 I'm gonna go today and um buy some more concealer and more of this powder because I'm running low on both of those things I'm trying to shade it in a little bit okay overall did I need to glue it down not really I think it's fine without being glued down unless you have like someone all up in your junk but it's also good to like melt the lace into your scalp I think that's always a good thing so I think I have adjusted it as good as I can without doing the whole nine yards as I normally do because I don't have time for that today the baby hairs are annoying for me if you're into that then by all means go ahead and do your baby hair sis but for me they're quite annoying um, they're super long but I, I guess whatever um, the hairline is pretty good that's what it looks like you would probably need to put more powder I didn't put as much powder in there I just did it like in the center part here but you could go ahead and like add more powder here if you need to you could do like your little finesse with your baby hairs again I'm not into that stuff so I won't do it the texture and the density I really love I'm 5'4 and the wig falls let me see in the front at least up to here and in the back like my lower back right where like my back curves I really like this I really like the texture there is some tangling and I did get some shedding once I cut the wig I mean the lace which is normal plus you're gonna get shedding anyways but it's not significant this is probably as much as I got and you can't even like tell but there's a little bit um really like this probably will go back and get it in the ash blonde maybe maybe not you can style it differently like the other ones that I showed you prior you can do half up half down you can probably do braids or twists how it has it in, like in the box um, with a half up half down it's very versatile very nice I like this a lot I would probably flatten it more because I like things to be lambio <laughs> um, so I would probably flatten it more and like shade in more there but overall 10 out of 10 do recommend Sade this is again a color number two um, I just I wish that Altre would have came out with like a larger range of colors or at least consistent colors for all the this line of wigs all throughout um, which they didn't and it's kind of a shame but yeah I mean should you get this wig if you have a straight wig and you want to upgrade your regular lace wig to like a nicer lace wig straight wig um, that's synthetic yes go ahead I recommend it it looks very natural Except for those baby hairs. I hate those baby hairs. But if you like them, look at look at them. They're like super long. That's not a baby hair. But the baby hairs are like super long. And I don't not a fan. Not a fan at all. But if you are, all the places you go, you can like lay them in all sorts of ways. Y'all, why am I like this? Why? So 
I went ahead and I picked up Sade, Shade, whatever. Sade, I think it's Sade. In, in the Ash Blonde. I couldn't resist. My soul is happy. This is in the color um, DR4 Ash Blonde. Uh, the roots are color 4, which my hair is pretty much close to a color 4. And again, it has the two combs on the side, comb on the back, adjustable straps, the elastic band, no full scalp, which we appreciate. Um, ridiculously long baby hairs, <laughs> if you're into that stuff. And a good amount of parting space. These wigs, or this line of Outre, is big head friendly. Yours truly has a humongous head. And they fit quite fine. Imagine if I wore my wig like this. That would be crazy. Okay, putting on the clips for now. I'm not going to stick this down because I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to go back to cuddling on my bed with my dog. So this is the hairline right now without me finessing. And the baby hairs on this one, I don't have the... I don't have the wig laid down completely, so it's going to be, like, shifting all over the place, especially since my hair is not, like, flattened. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, but it is big head friendly. I just have a lot of hair, and I didn't flatten it appropriately. Anyway, so this is what the hairline looks like without me finessing anything. You can pretty much melt the lace right in. Like I said, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to wear the wig out, so there's no need. But you can still see, um, like where the hairs are, like the black dots. I'm going to try to hide that a little bit. I'm going to brush my hair. I'm sorry if it's giving someone, like, or my wig, because it's, I mean, it's my hair. I paid for it. <laughs> but I'm going to brush it, so I'm sorry if it's giving you anxiety right now, but I'm trying to, like, show you this. So you can take some powder, some people use concealer, and you can even put it bef on before you throw the wig on. And that kind of helps to hide, not a lot, but you know, to mask the little hair dot things on the lace. Forgot what that's called. So I'm going to go ahead and brush this out. Yes, ash blonde. There's a little tangle, of course. Straight wigs always want to tangle, and I am getting some shedding. It's falling all over my lap. I feel it. Okay, mi gente, eso es todo for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Maybe it'll be better next time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Lit Mirror. I've been trying to do stuff on there. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family or whoever you deem relevant of watching me so that I have more time to post stuff on Instagram. <laughs> Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.